So, with um, a lot of you guys really liking the return of Stormhawk's head cannon, which, yeah, I've... <laughs> I, it's a pro, it's something like segments I used to really get into, but then, you know, I just kind of drifted away from it. But now I've seen, like, a lot of people enjoying, like, Stormhawk's head cannon. You know, when are we going to get the next Stormhawk's head cannon? Um, and basically, I just thought, you know what? Um, let me go to my Patreon, which, again, you know, another shameless plug. If you guys want to... Uh, be a part of this, uh, go check the link below to my Patreon, become a member there, and basically I uh, said, hey, if I'm thinking about doing another Stormhawks headcanon, let me throw out some uh, some subjects out there that I've done, like I've had ideas for, and uh, just comment below, let me know, like, vote on which one you want me to do, and the one that won, as you can see right here, psych ugh, freaking autofocus, come on. Um, the one that won was kind of actually in indirectly also, it's probably best that one won, the, and it actually won by a landslide. Usually it's like a one-vote tiebreaker for most of these, but no, this one won by a large mar margin. Um, and yeah. <laughs> so, um, in this, uh, this is, as you can see right here, Cyclonus the Stormhawk. Um, now this isn't an AU, well it is, I mean it's fan fiction, so it is kind of AU, but you get the point. It's not like some alternate universe, it's not some mirror universe, it's not like a what if. This is like, this would be considered in the main universe. So yeah, so so in this storyline, Cyclonus does become a Stormhawk, and it more or less deals with the fallout of that. So, in, so if you can probably guess what was the main inspiration for this, this a lot of the inspiration came from, of course, IDW Transformers with um, Megatron joining the Autobots. So, yeah, and how that was handled. Anyway, so to begin our story... Um, <clears throat> uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. To begin our story, we have... Um, essentially, i got to do a little quick preface with this. So in this, so in my, most of my Stormhawks headcanons, um, Arrow and Cyclonus are related. They are twin siblings who were separated at birth in order to um, keep a scandal um, from happening. So Arrow went with his father, and uh, Cyclonus stayed with um, Cyclonus stayed in uh, you know Cyclonus or is in most it, and not not just me who does this, but a lot of people have this too of naming her Lark. Um, obviously the code name she used in, um, the episode, but everyone's kind of said, like, oh, that's her real name. Um, Lark stayed in Cyclonia. So, they were siblings until it was later revealed, oh shit, not only are you related, Arrow, you have a right to the throne of Cyclonia. You know, so, there's that. So, in this... Um, this is dealing with the revelation of that. Like, this is a fallout of that revelation in that, um, and also this did come from the idea of like, yes, it was, it, there was a lot of inspiration from, um, Power Rangers in space with Andros and Corone. Um, but in this, in this storyline, this is dealing with this fallout of that revelation of, oh, hey, Arrow is, <laughs> Arrow and Cyclonus are related and a lot of the, of the Cyclonians are like, we don't want to follow a person who has a Sky Knight in her blood. And essentially it leads to Cyclonus being forced to flee after a fallout and lead, um, a major fallout with her own forces. And, it, and essentially Cyclonia, without Cyclonus, is now just in the midst of civil war with all these different factions vying for control. Um... You have Snipe, who's trying to get his own power grab. Even Ravis is trying to get her own power grab. Um, Dark Ace has just kind of been like... He, he, he pulled a, a Homer meme where he just kind of slipped into the darkness because he didn't want the power. Um, so Ravis and, Air and Snipe are the two major ones who are vying for... Brother, those two bro siblings are more or less vying for control of Cyclonia. And while this is going on, uh, Cyclonus flees to the only place she could really find any safety. And it's not Bogaton, because Bogaton in this storyline has gone become a neutral Terra. Repton's basically like, have fun with that. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to stay in Bogaton and bang my awesome human wife. Yeah, him and Starling are together in this continuity. So, <laughs> he's like, y'all have fun. I'm not, I'm not a pawn of this anymore. Um... Ugh. Uh, sorry, I, I just, I just had like a 
my brain just fried, just uh, ruptured there for a second. Like my brain just skipped out on me. Seems to happen a lot lately. Lack of sleep will do that to you. So for this story, um, Cyclonus only goes to the last place she knows she'll be safe, and that place is the Condor. She goes right to Arrow and basically says, "I need sanctuary on the Condor." You know, I and immediately she gets her ass locked up. She gets thrown in the brig without any fight. And of course, people think this is a, like most of the sky. Most of the Stormhawks think this is either a trick or she's planning something. She wouldn't like. And Arrow isn't an idiot. He's like, yeah, I know she could do something. I've fought her enough to realize she's dangerous, and we and she could kill everyone in our sleep. She could kill us all in her sleep if she really wanted to. And Twitch Piper points out, you know, just because you found out she's your sister doesn't mean you have to be nice to her. And he's like, yeah, I know, but it's not just, you know, I'm not doing this because she's my sister. I'm doing this because I want to give her the benefit of the doubt. And also, have you noticed that, Cyclo that Cyclonia has kind of hit the fan in this civil war? So we're kind of, you know, if she really wants help, you know, we got to give it to her as, you know, it's our job. You know, we can't turn away anybody. It's not just, oh, she's my sister. And trust me, there's a lot, a lot I'm still unpacking on that. <laughs> and, I, but I have to do this as a Sky Knight, you know. It's our duty. I Do I want to go in there and, you know, beat the shit out of her for everything, for every horrendous thing she's done? Not just to us, but to, like, everyone? Yeah, I do, but I can't. So that's more or less Arrow's mindset throughout the entire story, a story, and, um... Piper, Cyclonus, of course, their first course of action is take her to Cyclonia, and she has to be put on trial. Because even if she's no longer the leader of Cyclonia, she's still got to be on trial for war crimes. So that's basically where she goes. She goes to Atmosia, she faces a trial, and essentially the trial goes about as well as you think, because everyone's just chomping at the bits to put the leader of the for now deposed tyrant to death. Until Arrow st steps in and goes, look, we as Sky Knights have to, you know, uphold, like, that law and order, and we have to, you know, give that mercy to some people, even those who don't. And Cyclonus, you know, in the background's like, oh, Jesus, he's not going to do what I think he's going to do. <laughs> so, so, more or less, the Sky Council, after Arrow's speech, is like, all right, we'll give you two options. You can either A, be executed. Well, we're going to give you three options. A, execution. Exile, which you'll be stripped of all of your power and thrown to the wastelands, or three, option three, you join the Stormhawks and you are directly under their care. So she picks option three of joining the Stormhawks, and immediately the Stormhawks are given the shit list because now they're harboring an ex-tyrant, so the Stormhawks always had cred, but now their cred's kind of hurt because now they have a, um, you know, they have Cyclona, uh, Cyclonus on, her, on their team. Um, Cyclonus also insists that she no longer takes the Cyclonus title. She goes by Lark now. She goes by her real name. And the Stormhawks, of course, are now like... They they were just starting to get a lot of cred, but now they're like harboring a tyrant. So it's, it's kind of hard to be friends with everybody when you know that... <laughs> so it's like, and also, the rest of the Stormhawks are not okay with this. Arrow wants to, again, it keeps seeing, trying, wanting to see the good in Cyclonus, is, you know, the good in his sister... But, like, all the other Stormhawks are like, no, fuck this, fuck this bitch. Um, and that's kind of the whole story, is that Cyclone... Also, Lark's new costume is a lot like her old one, her old purple and red costume. Her, uh, yeah, her purple and violet costume. But this time around, it's more like um, a blue and white costume. It's, a, it's like a more pop... Like a more brightly colored version of that and also no like spike collar there's no collar um there's a cape because cyclonus is still you know cyclonus so she needs a cape um but now she's the the newly made seventh member of the team and no one's happy with it <laughs> nobody is happy with the idea of make of cyclonus the stormhawk and um so, the, so they go on a lot of so they go on a bunch of uh, missions together, and as you would expect, there are like, of course, as, as um, with Peridot with the crystal gems in here, it's more like it's kind of like the loyalty missions from uh, from uh, uh, Mass Effect, where 
Cyclonus gets to go on adventures with each Stormhawk and try to earn their trust. The hardest, of course, being Piper, because she betrayed her trust and her friendship. Um, but anyway... Um, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, so, more or less, uh, of course, you start with Arrow, who even Radar doesn't like. It, Radar has no love for for Lark, um, but the two basically team up on a scouting mission to uh, take. Uh, after being ambushed by uh, the warden and his uh, his for and his former jail, um, his uh, his ca ugh, his guards, they all try to uh, capture Cyclonus. And the two of them more or less kind of work out shit of being siblings and, um, you know, everything that's happened. They work shit out together and, Air and Radar finally accepts Lark. For Finn, he and Lark are trapped on a Terra that's being torn apart by a storm. And while the Stormhawks try to get them, they start to learn more about each other. You also have uh, Junko and Lark's um, mission together where they are stuck on a... they are uh, encountering a monster that is actually consuming um, the energy out of the Wallop's home, war, home Terra, and uh, Lark has to help Junko save his home, his family from, uh, from this creature. As you can imagine, the last person is probably the hardest one to get on her side, because it's Piper, and the two of them go on a mission together to find a crystal that is said because because um, what happens for the, their mission to get them together is that um, crystals are basically die uh, the energy of crystals are dying all over all over and in order to save and re empower all the crystals in, in across the Atmos essentially what has to be done is that um, Piper and Cy and Lark have to go on a mission together to find an ancient energy source. Sorry, my phone's going off. Um, this weird ancient energy power source that can reignite all the energy in the crystals across um, at the Atmos. So, yeah. As for Cyclone... As for... Um, as for the Cyclonian Civil War, it ends with Snipe submitting to Ravis, and Ravis becoming the new Master Cyclonus. Meanwhile, Dark Ace... Where has Dark Ace been this whole time? Well, Dark Ace has been um, skulking around um, the Terra, all of the Atmoses, and following um, Lark throughout her misadventures as a Stormhawk. And he's more or less like he's not convinced that Lark is gonna change. Like, he's convinced he's she's still the Master Cyclonus that he knows her to be. And he's he's trying to convince her to go back, kick Ravis's ass, and take the throne again. And to which Lark is like, no, no, that's that's not what I'm gonna do. That's that's not what I'm gonna do. And yeah, he also then like when he can't convince her, the two fight, and eventually Lark defeats a, a Dark Ace. To which Ace basically says, hey, look, just so you know. Um, Ravis is enacting a old plan you ne you deemed was going to be stupid, but she's doing it anyway. And that and that um, um, that plan is a bioweapon called the Primal Syndrome. More or less, the Primal Syndrome is. You remember that episode from season two where Finn got turned into a monster? Yeah. Now imagine that on a, on a global scale. Essentially. Um, Ravis is dropping bombs of these of these of this gas that is turning people into these monsters just to terrorize just to rip apart each other and Cyclonia will come in glass the Terra and and take it over like that's the whole plan is to just like turn everyone to monsters then nuke it from orbit like that's the whole plan so by the end so Lark finally proves herself as a Stormhawk by stopping all of the stopping this plague with and cementing herself as a store as a sky knight um she yeah she doesn't uh, she defeats them uh, she defeats the uh she defeats ravis she doesn't take the throne ravis scurries back to be the new master cyclonus but the plot is stopped and it basically cements that 
Lark is a Sky Knight now. Um, anyway, also, I kind of imagine Lark as a, like, Master Cyclonus as a Sky Knight would be something along the lines of, like, Emma Frost when she joined the X-Men. So that's kind of how I, uh, like, I imagine writing her as a, as a uh, Stormhawk is more or less like Emma Frost, where she's catty, sarcastic, but she does have, like, a heart there in some capacity. Um, oh yeah, I forgot her mission. Her uh, loyalty mission with Stork. I forgot, like what what was her mission solo mission with Stork? Essentially, all the other Sky Knights are forced to leave on a recon mission to stop one of Ravis's plots, and it just leaves Lark, like everyone trusts Stork to keep an eye on Lark when really he's terrified out of his mind of her. So the two, um, the two are left on the Condor, and Stork is completely terrified of the idea of living with a former tyrant in his home. But then the two get attacked by the Merc Raiders, and the two have to team up to keep them from dismantling the ship. Anyway, so there you go. There is, uh, there's my Cyclonus Stormhawk headcanon. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of this? Did you guys like it, hate it? And as always, if you haven't already, go check out my uh, Patreon. Hit the link below. Join there. That's where this uh, idea was voted for. And uh, once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.